Talk a little bit about your ride here today. Man, the Cheyenne's my favorite rodeo. It's just a good competition because the steers have never been, you know, trained or been practiced on, so it's real fresh to them. And so it's a lot about horsepower, a lot about, you know, controlling the, the steer and the catch. It's just a great contest. I've had a lot of luck here in the past. It's my favorite competition. and. Uh, it's just a special, we, you know, when you have a year like this to where the conditions are fun, you know. You know, you're hoping to get muddy, you know, and you're hoping to, to get a good time. The steer today, I didn't, he didn't have a very good record, and I didn't think I was going to do real good on him. But uh, 13, you know, I won the, the battle, just didn't get paid for the war. Talk about balancing, you know, being a, a cowboy and then being an entrepreneur like yourself. Oh, yeah, I just, I don't sleep very much. And, you know, I went to school at Uder, uh, University of Wyoming and run into a, one of my favorite teachers there was Brooks Mitchell. He's an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurship at that college. And uh, he just kind of opened my mind to other possibilities where I can, you know, anybody can do anything. And so I just look for a need and try to fill it, you know. And so we have several businesses and I have uh, a couple new ideas we're working on. And it's just fun, you know. It just keeps me something that, you know, and it helps me you know, with my rodeo because I don't get down or up, you know, when you're winning or losing. And you have something else to work on to continue to build. But like a lot of my businesses, I, rodeo's done a lot for me, and so I build them to give a lot back, you know, back to the Western community, and back to rodeo. How many businesses do you have you founded? You uh, right now I got about six. <laughs> but which, uh, which one? The latest one's pretty cool. It's called Reach Out West. It's an app for cowboys, and uh, we just got it out. But it has uh, it's basically all the Western events being in one place, and then uh, we're bringing on live uh, video streaming to where other people can stream their events and their rodeos and get paid to stream it and uh, that'll be up in September. But it has a ton of stuff on there, just for Cowboys, you know. It's like a Cowboys Craigslist, Cowboys Marketplace, find all the events, you find GPS uh, coordinates to the rodeos. Um, it just has a ton of stuff, but it's just all for Cowboys and Cowboys. Talk about the the uh, fantasy rodeo that you've Yeah, this is our 15th year, you know, and, and uh, we're pretty proud of that business because uh, what creates rodeo fans? You know, because we see how it creates rodeo fans when people call the office and want to know a little bit about it. And then we see them in a couple of years going to seven or eight rodeos trying to keep up with the contestants, you know. So we're really proud of Crates Rodeo Fans. That's our 15th year. We put out over $2 million. This year we're uh, coming up with some exciting prizes, maybe it's the 15th year. And so we're uh, working on it a little bit and uh, probably open entries. Uh, first of November and get your team in before the national finals but it's a lot of fun because when you have a team then you're actually getting to be in the game you know you have a vested interest you get to keep up with everybody you know and so we're, we're pretty proud of the fact that it really brings awareness and lets fans get inside rodeo and follow and root and have a chance to win something you know what's it like you know being an entrepreneur and being a cowboy I mean you, you, you hear about cowboys who have second jobs or, or a full-time job you know I met a guy this week that's the rodeo coach at New Mexico State University, but being an entrepreneur and, and founding and owning businesses on top of being a cowboy, what's that like? Oh, it's fun, you know, because it's like, my mind's always working anyway, you know, and, and, and uh, I need something to occupy it or I get pretty bored or I get to thinking about nag gum and I didn't do very good this rodeo and then, you know, it just kind of snowballs. And so for me to be able to have all those other avenues where I can focus on it, it's a little, it extends my rodeo career to where, you know, it's, I'm just out here now having fun and. This, this summer I'm really focused on getting some of the new guys to the national finals and uh, you know I've rode for 30 years and this you know it, it took me a long time to have kind of I have five bulldog and the four bulldog and horse and the hazel horse it took me a long time to get you know athletes that quality and so you know I'm not chasing as hard but they're uh, I'm wanting to get the, get them to it and uh, any little wins along the way is pretty fun you know but uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just something I like to do, you know, and makes me happy, and so, you know, I'd rather I'd rather do that and be working on something than go to Costa Rica and sit on the beach, you know. i got to be doing something. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you.